Another major announcement today, solidifying that the sun is not going to be setting on the U.S. dollar hegemony anytime soon. Let's take a look at this. Welcome back, everyone. So you probably noticed uh, that in the last couple of weeks, I've changed up the format a little bit, you know, in previous clips, I would do, you know, the screen sharing and you would kind of see my face more off into the side and it would be more focused on the article. Um, I changed it up a bit so that I'm more the focal point and I just pop up the tidbits that I'm, you know, that I'm referring to. I'd really like your guys' opinion. Uh, what do you think? Did did you like the old method better? Is this better? Is this kind of like easier to, you know, is this easier to, to pay attention to? Is this maybe less boring? Anyways, guys, I, I would definitely love your feedback uh, because look, you know, we're just, we're just trying things, you know, like we just try to see what it is that we enjoy doing, see what we like works, and then we go with it and see what happens. So, but really it's, it's your guys' feedback, right? That, that matters because if, you know, I mean, if you're not liking the, if you're not liking the format or you're not liking the way in which the information is being disseminated, obviously I'd like to do my best to, to fix that. Anyways, anyways. Okay. Enough with the public service announcement. Ah, let's dive into it. Let's dive into it. What am I talking about? We are talking about the Tether news, right? There was an article that came out today uh, on Reuters, among other uh, platforms, that Tether is going to be launching a stable coin pegged to the UAE's Duram. And for the people who don't know what the UAE is, it's the United Arab Emirates. Uh, not that you couldn't figure that out, but I figured just for the sake of saving you a Google trip, in case you don't know. <laughs> Anyways, okay, so my point is, is this, right? Let's dive into it. So Tether said on Wednesday, it's going to launch a new stable coin pegged to the UAE's Duram as it taps demand for the Gulf currency and seeks to offer alternatives to the US dollar. So that's a very interesting wording, right? But just wait, because there's going to be some details that, that pop up here. So you're thinking that oh, it's an alternative to the US dollar. Go on. Okay. Anyways, let's continue. So Tether, right? For the people who don't know, they run the biggest stable coin. Okay. And obviously the biggest one is the USDT, the US dollar pegged token. And essentially the stable coin market is a $169 billion market approximately of which $117 billion of that market is Tether. The CEO of Tether, Paulo Arduino, said the main purpose is actually creating an optionality towards the U.S. dollar. So that's interesting, right? In the first line, we're, we're talking about alternatives to the U.S. dollar. But then right there, right, not even two paragraphs later, oh, look at that. We're creating optionality towards the U.S. dollar. To finish it off, Paolo's comments, he said, they see a lot of interest in holding the AED, the Durham, outside of the UAE. The Durham, like most Gulf currencies, is pegged to the US dollar. What? I thought this was, okay, so hold on a second. So at first we were offering alternatives to the US dollar, then we're offering optionality towards the US dollar. And then in the end, the big boss is exactly that. It is the US dollar. <laughs> it's, I'm like, are you kidding me? So it's currently backed by the US dollar. How does this somehow create alternatives to the US dollar? It doesn't. This is Anyways, this is all smoke and mirrors, guys. Like th th this is what I this is what I've been saying. This is what most of the Bitcoin plebs have been saying. Uh, if you think a CBDC is coming, you got this wrong. The stable coin is stable coins are the CBDCs. They're just not saying it yet. As most of you know, I've already done several clips on Tether. Now, uh, Tether is actually owned, right? As most people know, is Tether is owned by Bitfinex and Bitfinex is owned by iFinex. Now I, I'm doing some digging to see um, who actually sits on the board of directors of iFinex um, because I am very curious. I, 
I have this, I don't know why, I have this sneaking suspicion that that tether is just part of the giant central banking cartel. Um, and again, this is not meant to FUD Bitcoin. It's like, oh no, Tether is part of the central banking cartel. That means Bitcoin is captured. No, Tether is a completely separate product. I've said this before in the past, guys. Okay, when, when Tether implodes, right, if it implodes, all that's going to happen is that there's going to be a new Tether that's propped up. That's all there is to it. If you look back in history, that's all we've ever done. I, I mean, look, even the mortgage crisis, what happened? right? Winners and losers were picked, okay? Certain banks, the, the banks which quote-unquote appeared the weakest, okay, were absorbed by the bigger banks and the bigger banks, right? Like JP Morgan and like Goldman Sachs. Well, they were given assurances, right? They were given assurances and they were essentially made or put into a position, right, where they could not fail, right? It was just a little bit of a, a tweaking of the algorithm. Oh, well, you know, we, we didn't get that right right away, but this time, this time we're going to get it right. Well, it's the same type of thing with what we're, what we're seeing with stable coins. I, I truly believe that government, specifically the U.S. government, has figured out that, hey, we don't need to make anything. We can just regulate these corporations that are going to make these tokens, Anyways, uh, yeah, so I am very curious as to who is on the board of directors of iFinex, where they come from. Uh, I did reach out to a fellow Bitcoiner who does a lot of reporting on Tether and just to get his take to see if maybe uh, he can get this information. But it is very interesting and very curious. And of course, we're going to be following this. You know, We're going to be continuing to follow this story because I am firmly in the belief that stable coins are the CBDCs. Anyways, guys, there you go. It's another notch in the belt for stable coins. Okay, they're going to be giving you, uh, they're, they're going to be giving people alternatives to the U.S. dollar by giving them a stable coin that is um, backed or pegged to a currency that is pegged to the U.S. dollar. Hmm. Yeah. If that doesn't seem incestuous. Anyways, guys, uh, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Uh, yeah, good times. I will catch you tomorrow.